Hey, what's up? In this edit, I'm looking into time lapse and how you can add something a little bit different to them without using any equipment. So the clips that I'm going to use are uh, this one here, this time lapse, and this one. So the reason I picked the clips here is because with this one here, you've got the warfare, you can easily add another post um, and create that effect that I'm looking at that you saw in the intro. Same with this one here, you can copy a post here and then create that effect, you can see. So I'll start with this one here. So all I did was I downloaded a transparent tree, so I'll just quickly drag that in, here it is here. So I've just dragged the tree into the timeline and I'm just going to now resize it, so transform, um, and put it into place. So I'm going to put it in the left hand corner here. So I just copied that tree and I'm placing it another one on the right hand side here. The whole idea of having adding these trees is giving it a bit of depth um, and then giving you that illusion that you're flying through the trees to the mountain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the tree on the right here a little bit bigger um, than the tree on the left. When I zoom in to the mountain, um, the tree on the right should pass first and then the tree on the left. That looks good there. I'm just going to click done and I'll just show you. As you can see, nothing's changed. I've just added two trees, um, one to the left and one to the right. What I need to do now is zoom in slowly to the mountain or on the time lapse clip. So I'm just going to select the time lapse clip and go to the start, hit the transform tool click a keyframe and then I'm going to go to the end of the clip and I'm just going to scale up say about 18% something around there this will change depending on the clip you're using um, and the look that you're trying to get so you can see it's slowly zooming into the mountain so then I need to do the same with the trees they need to be scaled a lot more to get that illusion or that look uh, that's because they're a lot closer and the mountain is in the distance so in reality if you were doing this then the mountains wouldn't really move towards you as fast as the trees would so what you need to do is first you have to make these into compound clips because if you don't um, when you zoom in it just scales up the tree like that and it doesn't look like you're flying past it so I'm just going to turn these into compound clips. What that does is see how now the center is in the center and when I zoom in, it zooms in how I want it. So I'll just do that to this clip here. So they're now both compound clips. And I'm going to go to the first tree um, again at the start, click a keyframe, head to the end of the clip, and I'm going to scale up to about say there, about there. Second tree here, I'm going to ensure that I scale up more than 180%. So I'm going to go to this tree, go to the start, um, click keyframe, uh, go to the end of the clip, and I'm going to scale up to say, I'll go to about 200. And click done, and I'll play that through. So what you can do also is uh, you can change the colors and exposures on each tree and I'm just going to go to the color board and the exposure I'm just going to bring it down a little bit so you can see there if I bring it fully down so I'm just going to drop it a little bit I'm just going to then go to this tree here uh, I'm just going to bring the highlights up a little bit not much maybe bring the shadows down a little bit Probably the left tree here I kind of want that a bit brighter now it doesn't look right like that so I'll just bring up the highlights a bit so it looks a bit better so that's that clip there done you could also reverse the clip if you want it kind of that actually looks pretty cool there if you reverse out so what you just need to do is you could just select all three clips make a compound clip and then reverse it um, but yeah so that's that clip there the next time lapse I'm gonna look at is this one here so with this time lapse I'm going to create a copy of this post here and I'm going to put a post here and put a post here. So instead of the trees here, I'm going to use a post that I have taken out of this time lapse. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create a copy of this. Okay. And I'm going to get a draw mask 
and apply it to this clip. I'm going to zoom in a bit, makes it a lot easier. And I'm going to add the control points around this post. So I've got a post there. Drag this on top of my clip. Press transform. And then you'll see I can drag this post. So I'm just going to resize it and put it in kind of in place where I think that it should go. So about there kind of lines up here. Then I'll create another copy of this and I'll put it on this side. So now I've got another copy here and I'll put this over here. Now it looks a bit weird because they're, you can tell that they're the same posts. So I'm just going to uh, flip this around so that it's not the same. Easy way to flip it is just um, scale down until you can see um, your selectors here. Um, so I'm at 71%. I'm just going to grab on the right here and then swipe it to the left all the way to about negative 71 and that's good and then then I'm just going to scale up again and drag it in place. Turn these into compound clips now on the time lapse go to the start transform add a keyframe go to the end and then size up a little bit so I'm going to scale in to about let's say about 120 that's good and then do the same with the posts go to the start transform add keyframe go to the end scale up I normally like to scale out of frame so I just keep going until it's out of frame so that's good Again, do it to the other post, add keyframe, go to the end, and scale up. And we'll just press start. So we have a quick look. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Gives a nice little effect there. So you can tidy this up um, with the control points. But, um, so I just double click on the time lapse, and that will take me into the compound clip. And now I can edit um, this clip. So I'm just going to zoom quite a fair way in. Which I'm just going to get rid of that white. You can see that's tidied up a little bit better. That's that one there. And then the last one, exactly the same thing. I'm going to take this post here. And I'm going to put one on the left and on the right. Again, draw a mask. and just around this post. Okay, I've got a post there. I'm just going to drag it on top of the other clip. I'm just going to transform it. So I'm going to drag it over to the left. Okay, so that's good there. I'm just going to create another copy and I'll just drag this one over to the right. And that looks pretty good. I'm just going to turn them into compound clips. Again, on the time lapse, I'm going to add a keyframe and then head to the end and scale up to say about 115 and do the same on the posts. So here's the end result here. So there's a simple way to add something different to your time lapse if you want to. Um, it doesn't work with every time lapse that you take. So if you like the video, subscribe, comment or like. Until next one, cheers.